My biggest concern right now is for the young girls because the stories that the media puts out about missing and murdered Indigenous women is that, you know, they live high-risk lifestyles, and that's like a, a, a clean word to use. So I'm concerned that the words we hear, that our girls hear, are what they will think they become. So I ask you in your own way, in your lives, in your work, to help find those words that empower, uh, praise, honor all women and girls so that all women and girls can find their place, to know their place, to be able to stand firmly on the ground with strength and care and knowledge that they are loved in the most beautiful way and supported in the most beautiful way. This one time, because we believe as Indigenous women, this is our one time to have our voice heard in Canada. So it's got to be done right. And it really has to be the voice of the women. It can't be clouded by government policy or political correctness for whichever government is in place. So we know our children seven generations into the future are going to look back on this report and they're going to ask those questions of whether we stood strong enough for them of whether we stood strong enough for change so it's not about us as individuals it's about our future <laughs> <laughs>